onto that controversy about Ngong forest land. Now, Environment Cabinet Secretary Kariako Tobiko insists that the land in question in Langata will have to be reclaimed in spite of the protests by residents. However, the CS appeared to go slow on the issue of demolition, saying they may enter lease agreements with some of the residents after they have surrendered the titles. And as our very own Lillian Mooley reports, Tobiko is calling for the prosecution of the people who helped in what he calls illegal acquisition of the disputed titles. In his response to the Senate committee, Tobiko has been categorical that a huge part of the Ngong forest had been grabbed by unnamed powerful government officials using various proxy companies. He said such companies should be investigated and the culprits prosecuted. The government also wants all money acquired in the allocation and sale of the land recovered in accordance with the law. Any part of the forest that has not been degazetted is not available for allocation. And any purported allocation, whether by the president, whether by the commission of land, is illegal, invalid, and null and void. The CS, however, says there is no plan to demolish the houses standing on the piece of land. He says the government may enter into long-term lease agreements with the occupants after they have surrendered the titles to the government. Among issues the Senate committee wanted addressed was the alleged fencing in of the states and release of animals. In his response, the CS said that a wildlife-proof fence would be constructed around the Ngong Road Forest Reserve, except parts of the forest that have been lawfully degazetted for a public purpose. This in efforts to reduce the pressure on the Nairobi National Park and the Ngong Road Forest. The law allows KFS to issue leaseholds for 50 years, 100 years, on terms and conditions. You have hotels in, the, in, in forest. You have establishments in forest, just like you have in national parks. So it is really upon those to come out and say, let's talk. The Environment Cabinet Secretary Kariako Tobiko was summoned by the National Assembly Environment Committee over the controversial planned eviction of residents living on a now disputed piece of land. The flagged estates include Sun Valley Phase 2 and Phase 3, KMA Langata Estate, Langata View Apartments, Royal Park, Forest View, Shalom Estate and St. Mary's Apartment. Lillian Muli, Citizen TV.